Okay, welcome back everyone. So we're back to uh, put the decorative inside covers of our lap book junk journal and this is part two. And what I've done here is I've taken um, several pieces of the cardstock that we use to cover the lap book and I've cut two pieces at three inches by eight and eight and five eighth and one piece that is um, two and a half inch by eight and five eighth. Again, so you need two pieces that are three inches, eight and five eighth, and one piece that is two and a half inches, eight and five eighth. And then you're going to apply some score tape on the size, each side of it. And then you're going to take some glue on the top, bottom, and inside, and you're going to apply that in between the gussets of where your fold marks are just like so and then you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to assist it by burnishing that in in the gusset so that you have a good score mark there now for the inside covers i have used at stamperia's music collection and it had a little bit of a touch to the collection that Sherry Baldy has for her junk journal, so that's why I use it. This is the closest thing I had um, that resembled it, so I used that. And I took one of the sheets and I cut it at, actually, I cut one of the sheets and I cut it at five and a quarter by eight and five eighth. Actually, you're going to need three of these, but I took um, one and I did that for this here just like so and then I took another sheet and I cut it at five and a quarter by eight and five eighth which is the one that goes over on this side and then I took another one that is and I didn't write this one down four and a quarter my pencil four and a quarter by eight and five eighths sorry about that Four and a quarter by eight and five eighths. So, so then you're going to take for the spines here. You're going to take one piece and cut it at one and eight and five eighth, and two pieces at one and a half by eight and five eighth, just like so. So I'm going to repeat that. You need a total of three decorative sheets. Five and a quarter by eight and five eighth. One, two, three. One piece that's four and a quarter by eight and five eighth. One that is one inch by eight and five eighth. And two pieces that are one and a half by eight and five eighth. Now, I have sewn around my edges. You're welcome to do that. And if you don't, you don't have to. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and distress it. I'm going to go ahead and use my little handy tools here let me cover my glue because it appears I was a naughty person did not do that okay so I'm just going to go ahead and use my vintage photos from Tim Holtz and I want to start at the edge you can pretty much do this all the way around and then once you have it entirely um, distressed however you want you can um, glue it down to your cover it's just as simple as that so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all my little pieces there I'm going to grab some of this. I'm 
just going to go in here and there just to kind of distress it here and there. It's what I like about these. It's a lot smoother, guys. Trust me. I have a link below um, for these on my Amazon affiliated program. $8.47 for a set of seven, and they work beautifully. So I'm just going to do that with all of mine. Um, and you see I'm still using that with all of my decorative Stamperia paper. Once I have that, um, it's to my liking. I am going to attach that to my album. Now, see I have that. I've left a little threads on there. So it should align with your spine cover there, just like so. It should be about it. Top and bottom should match that. So you want to make sure you do that. And then you're ready to do that with all your sheets. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so we have gone in and glued down our uh, covers. As you can see, I use the the spine alignment to be able to line those perfectly good on there. Now we're going to apply the ones that go on to the spines. Now, see how easy it was to distress with these new little handy makeup brushes you can purchase at Amazon. Make sure you use that link I have below. All right, so let's place our one inch. Now I try to put in the glue right on that stitch just because I know it's gonna be a little bit heavier on that stitching because of the thread. So just make sure you do that. did have it figured out how it's supposed to go and I now I have moved it around so I think it goes this way and it goes that way who knows all right so I'm just going to wiggle that in to the let's see where it goes it goes to the top may threads in the top may Not to the bottom. I guess that was a very good indicator, right? <laughs> well, I'm just using um, a dry baby wipe. Just lightly burnish that. Do the same for these two. get in here so you're probably going to see some of my hair so I'm trying to align it right where it needs to be aligned okay use our finishing tool and I will see because you do have um, the thread and you sewed. It's going to see. Expect that. And that's going to happen. Just take your handy little baby wipes and get that taken care of. I need it to. Just 
trying to get it all nice and in there. Okay. And do the same on here. And then we're going to get our eyelet and our crocodile, and we will attach um, a little mechanism for a little charm or something that we can put on the side. Yeah, and I just use, this is dry, guys. <laughs> you really don't want to do this, what I'm doing with a wet one. That will tear up your, your paper. That's completely dry. So there is that, right? Um, we're not going to worry about the outside. That's going to be one of the last things that we're going to be worrying about. Um, and then we're going to be back. I'm going to get find my brads, and we're going to place a brad in the center here, somewhere around here, so that so that sorry, when we do close, we have a we can either right here. Um, see the flap is on this side on your right you don't want it here because then your flap will be in the bottom your flap has to be on the top and it's going to be the spine on your left with the flap on top not at the bottom okay so I'm going to find my brads and we'll be back all right so we are back I went ahead and I used my ruler my Tim Holtz ruler um, I decided to put it in the outside because we don't want the ugly part of the eyelet on the outside we wanted in the inside so I put my ruler against that little scoring line or the yeah the scoring line and I moved it up to the three-quarter inch marking and I went up a quarter inch from the top and I made a little mark with my pencil and did the same thing on the opposite side. Now to make sure that those are perfectly aligned and not one's going the other way I just used my We Are Memory Keeper laser beam and aligned it to one and made sure that they are perfectly aligned and they are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and punch a hole I need to turn on the light, guys. So it's going to be a little dark here, but I need to see what I'm doing. I don't, for some reason, that light makes it look darker in here. And it's not supposed to, but it does. All right, so I got my two holes punched. I'm going to go ahead and take, I think I needed to make that hole just a tad bit bigger. Let's do that again with the bigger punch, with a bigger hole. I have such a hard time lining this up because I'm trying to look backwards. Right? Okay. And we're going to put that one there. All right, a little bit too close to the bottom, but that's okay. Oops. So maybe go up a three eighth of an inch up, guys, instead of a quarter of an inch up. Okay, although this one came in good. Maybe I went in just a little bit. 
Okay, well, I guess not that too bad. Not too bad. That's all right. If you can go a three eighth of an inch and mark it, that's good. If not, go ahead and do the quarter inch. Doesn't look too bad now that I see it together. So now I'm going to go ahead and let's do the eyelet magic. And there we go. Now we have that, and it looks great. Great, great, great. Good. That's exactly what we want. Now, we're probably going to take some elastic. Um, I have put a link below of the elastic that I'm using from um, Amazon. Um, be sure to check that out. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start decorating these with the signatures. So we'll be back. All right. So now we're going to do, uh, before I begin, I need to let you guys know. I've decided to change where my signatures are going to go. They're going to go on this side. So instead of these two holes that we poked or pierced and put the eyelets, we're going to scratch that off the table. Take that off. You can put one on top if you want to put a charm, chunky charm or something dangling from the other side. But I'm just going to scratch that off the table. I'm just going to go ahead and do something else. I might go ahead and put one little journal there. Um, but I'm going to put two more eyelets over here. Um, because I want, um, aside from here, I am going to put, yeah, I think I am going to put, I am going to put one here, an, a signature here. Um, but I'm also going to put signature over here okay so that these will go there and then one will go here so I'm gonna have two here one here like that so it'll look like this when you're done okay if that makes any sense to you and now we're doing the accordion pocket and I got the idea from book Nick the booksmith and I'm going to make some minor little tweaks on this just because it just, once I got things going, it just made a lot more sense if I did it that way. All right, so you're going to be cutting out and um, you're going to cut a piece of paper that is five inches by 11. Five inches by 11. You're going to cut one by five inches by 11. And you're going to score at a half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. You're gonna come on over and you're gonna go at nine and a half, ten, and I'm doing it twice, and ten and a half. Okay, so you got three score lines on each side. Then you're gonna flip it to your left and you're gonna go in at four inches, guys. Four. You're gonna score it at four. Okay, then you see this little square here down here where the two pieces join together? We're going to cut that little square out just like that. That on each side. Okay, and then you're going to come and you're going to make a little mark at the 5 and 3 eighth mark. That's your center point right there, right? You're going to take your one and a half inch circle and you're going to make a semicircle punch. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to cut two pieces that are um, 4 inches by 11. Two pieces that are 4 inches by 11. Let me make sure I write this down because I changed this because I thought it was a lot easier. One piece is 4, 
5 by 11 and two pieces that is 4 by 11. Okay? And you're going to score again a half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. Come on over and do nine and a half, ten, and ten and a half on the two pieces that are four by eleven. Again, half inch, one inch, one and a half, then nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. Okay, and you have two. Then take your little template here that you guys just um, marked your little half semicircle. Get these all lined up, flushed in together. It's going to be your little template. So you can just punch them all out and not have to figure out whether or not they're going to be the same or not, you know. That's not fun. So just take your little template, see, and if you can, just line it up. I can't see with my lighting, so what I would do is I would do that because I am just as blind as a bat. And I'm going to line it up as best as I can. And hopefully it'll punch through that and it won't because it's so thick. Hopefully. It's so thick. And let me see if I can line it up. Punch it out. Mark your next one and do the same thing. And and that way you can punch your holes or your semicircles. Sorry, not your holes. And for the most part, they should be the same. Can punch through three papers. All right. There. There. So that way they all line up. See, and they're all perfectly lined up. Now you're going to distress them. You can sew them. You can do whatever you want to them. Then you're going to cut another piece of paper that is four by eight okay that's going to be this part back here um, on your little envelope and then I use this is the uh, Sherry Baldy this is the Sherry Baldy's junk journal collection I cut it um, and you're going to cut it at four by eight and you're going to score it at two and a half inch okay so you're gonna cut um, let me get that one because I didn't cut that one I thought I did but I didn't I guess not I'm gonna cut that one right there I did I did cut it here it is I just didn't bring it with me all right so you're gonna score it at two and a half inch And you're going to have at least that much room in the back so that you can lip it and not have um, such a hard time trying to get all that in. And then once you have those, you go ahead and set all that aside. You are going to pierce a hole that's going to match up. So basically take your little... Um, four by eight, put it on top, center it between where those markings, see how it folds there and it folds over here. You're going to put it in between right there, right? Like that. And what I want you to do, let's get all these out. Hold on. What I want you to do is take the front cover, 
the front, the one that has the flap. You're going to align this right up flushed against that score line, just like that. And you can take your binder clips, clip it just so that it holds in place. It's not shifting on you. I'm going to pull that because. And we can burnish all these in so it's nice and crisp. All right, so it, this is the flap. You can round your little corners, okay? Then I want you to take any scrap piece of cardstock that you have left from um, your project. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this here. You're going to cut four of the one inch circle. Sorry, one inch circle you're going to cut four. I actually cut six actually. Just because we're going to join them together. I hate this little thing. Cut six. I'm going to glue two together to reinforce it better. If you had chipboard, I would say punch out some one inch chipboard. Um, I don't have anything that's thick enough to punch a one inch chipboard. Alright, you're going to take two of these and you're going to put it together. Just to reinforce that, get that glue all the way around. Do the same thing with two more. Okay, and then you're going to get um, an eyelet. First, you're going to find your center point. I know the center point is four, but you're going to go in about a half inch from the bottom. You're going to flush it up, and you're going to mark. You're going to go in. I use, if you lay it down, you go in about a half inch from the alignment. Grab your pencil. Make sure it's all flushed here and it's a half inch going up and mark it at four inch. That's your center point. That's where this first one's going to go right there. You're going to make um, a hole right there. Okay. And you can probably pierce it so that you know. But before you do that, you want to double check on the top, and you're going to probably do the same thing is go in about a half inch up from the, the edge, half inch up and over four inches. Sorry, guys, I hold it up. Mark it. So you have one here and one here then um, that should go there and that one should go about there about so maybe I could move it up a little and you know you can go in and kinda get it centered in If you pierce a hole, I'm going to pierce a hole in the center of this, somewhat center. And then you can go in here and you can see somewhat where that is if you can shift it around. 
The idea is you're going to put these in, you're going to put a brad, or an eyelet, sorry, and then a brad through. I guess I'm going to need that marking a little bit. Noticeable. Let me get my carpet on. Let's make that hole bigger because I can't see. Can't see to save my life. You get one hole done and you think it's about centered. The thing is getting it right centered. Without getting it. See, that's wonky. <laughs> that's what you don't want. Let's see if I can do it on another one. You want it centered in the center. Um, you don't want it off like that one's off. You really want it centered. I'm hoping I have a center. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Right there. So once you have it centered, you want to come over here and you want to center it up. Maybe move it up a little. Maybe just go up a little. make your marking and then you can do the same thing on the other one go up and make your marking all right and then you want to punch out those holes before you do anything else, you want to punch out those holes because otherwise, if you start adjusting or putting your things together, man, it's gonna be hard. So punch out those holes before you do anything else. Okay. Punch out the holes, then take your eyelet. Put your eyelid in. And I'm just going to do it on one, guys, because put your eyelid in into your crocodile. And see, that's a bit of better reinforcer. Now, the other thing that you want to do is take a brad and tie an end of like twine on one end, tie it in, pull it through with your twine. You don't need a whole lot. Put your little thread back through that hole. Put your brad through that hole. Pull it all the way to the back. Uh, open it up. And that's where that extra piece of um, that other little punch out that we took out. With your hot glue gun, you're going to put your hot glue a little bit of there. I'm going to cover that up. That way the brads aren't getting in the way of anything. And so you're going to do that on the bottom as well. Except you're not going to, um, you don't need to string out 
So what you're going to do is going to put your eyelet, um, punch it through, put your brad, and then you're just going to twine just like that. Okay. So that's all you do that. Once you have that, um, then you can go and assemble the, the accordion. And to do that, let me move all this stuff, guys. And to do that, what you're going to do is, you know these little wonderful things that you have called the score lines? You're going to do your fan. One, two, three. And of course, we can... Really brilliant, May. I put it in the wrong side, guys. Sorry. That's not supposed to go on that side. It's supposed to go on this side of the pocket. I was wondering why I did that. It's going to go here on this side. Sorry. This side of the pocket. The flap. It's going to go on the flap. Sorry, scratch. Okay, so it's going to go on a flap. You're going to round up your, your corners just like so. You're going to ink it up, distress it. You can sew on it, do whatever. Here. Um, you're going to do this. This here should not go there. That, that was a big goal on my part. Um, and then you're going to glue this one onto this one. Eventually, I want to get this right, guys. Flush it. Align it perfectly straight. Get your clips. And that way it stays. And then while you're clipping this one, you can go on to the other side. This is um, craft paper, so that's why it's so thick for me right now. So you're going to need to Flush it up together. Should it should align? All three of them should align. It should. The binder clip makes it a little bit there. So then you put your last one. And for the last one, um, what I suggest. Varnish those really good. Um, this little hole does not go there. That was a boo boo. The bottom hole, yes. Um, to 
So just joining them together, that's just it. Make sure you align also, not only the front, the side, but everything, guys. Everything has to line up. Okay. Everything lines up. Everything looks good. And then you're going to take your little clip, let it dry up. And once it dries up, then what you're going to do is that one piece that we cut at 4 inch by 8, that one piece goes to the far back. Okay? It goes right smack on top of all that, like that. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do that so we can just get that out of the way. Just like that. You can burnish it. I'm not, you know, I'm asking you guys to burnish it, but this is my little template showing you guys how to do it because I already did it. I cheated, cheated. Get over here. Do the same. Burnish it. I'm going to move up because this baby is going to come over here. And see, that's what Nikki did different is that she folded each piece flat. I just did one flap because it just made more sense to me. And then you'll have something that looks like this. And it'll look like that. Like that. Okay. Um, of course, you don't want that little hole. That's a, that was a boo-boo. Um, on my part, you didn't have to punch the one here. You had to punch the one here, and I did that boo-boo. So that's going to go like that on top. This piece here, you're going to glue it to the back of this piece here, just like so. And it's going to look like that. Okay? And then you can wrap it around. And then that extra little circle, I told you to punch out six will go in the inside bottom here to cover up your brad so that nothing's snagging on it or getting caught up on it. So that's basically it. Again, do not do, you're punching this. I punched through the wrong, it's supposed to punch through the flap, not this. Okay? So that goes like that. It'll look like that. And then you can open it up. And then you'll have pockets that look like that. Okay, and that's where you can put your little ephemeras or whatever um, for the collection. Okay, and don't forget to go to Sherry Baldi's website and use the coupon code JUNK10 to get 10% off um, the journal. And um, let me know what you think. And for part three, what we're going to do is we're going to um, attach probably the signature and go ahead and add the two eyelets for this. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure we have everything going the right direction because I'm notorious for putting things wrong and wrong. And then figuring out, oh my god, I wasn't supposed to do that. Let me see if I have enough this to go around. Ah, didn't. Darn it. Eh, I was hoping. It lasted, lasted a while. All right. So I'm going to attach this here 
like so. And I'm going to have to put some glue. Again, I've been hoping, you know, don't order from Blitzy. Or I have a hard time with Blitzy and Joann's. They take forever to ship, guys. No joke. No joke. Um, we're going to put some glue down here. On the sides. It's going to go right in here. Before I push down, I want to make sure it's aligned okay. Just press down. I'm going to go in. See, that's why I said put two reinforcers because after I did mine, I'm like, man, that really needed more reinforcing. something beautiful such as this just like that and so here again when we do part three we're going to do we're going to attach these two signatures um, we're going to work actually on decorating some of these signatures um, before we put the signatures down um, just to make it easier. So those are going to go there, and I'm probably going to put this one here, just like that, right this way. And then maybe this way. Let's do these two here and that one there. Yeah, because see the little flowers match that. And we're going to put these two here, like that. That's going to go there. That's going to fold over. And we'll probably put something here real quick, like a pocket or something. And look looking great, right? All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.